let me show you how I get to the list of repeaters that we have uh, across the UK. If you go to the Radio Society of Great Britain's website, the RSGB, which is the um, United Kingdom's recognised national society for um, amateur radio, which is the actual, the web address is rsgb.org. You're presented with a number of different um, tiles. The one to select is the main site. From there, across the menu, the horizontal menu at the top, select on the air and then select beacons and repeaters. That takes you to this page. And the UK repeaters can be found via this link under the UK repeaters heading. And then I go to this particular ta um, button here called repeater list. And that then allows me to select the list of repeaters based on the filter settings across the top. So I've got an analog radio transceiver. So I'll select analog all. And then I can select the particular band that I want, which in this case uh, is in, in this example, I'm going to select the two meter band. Uh, my radio can do two meter and 70 centimeter as well. So um, you can select either of these. I'll select the two meter for the purposes of this demonstration. When you've done that, you'll get the full list of all of the repeaters, including those that are not currently uh, operational, such as this one here, or the ones that are experiencing some sort of issue. This is this one here, has, it says um, under the status reduced output. So you'll get the full list across the UK uh, in this particular case, in example, the analog repeaters on the two meter um, wavelength. If you scroll straight to the, all the way down to the bottom, uh, you'll see a map. And so based on where you are, you can pick the one that's closest to you. So if, for example, I'm in the Manchester area, I can just click on the one in Manchester and it will give me the parameters that I need to configure my radio to connect to the particular repeater. If you click on the hyperlink at the top here, they'll give you the details for this, this um, repeat. Uh, the three parameters that you, you're going to need are the output frequency. And this is from the perspective of the repeater itself. So the repeater is going to transmit on this frequency. The receive frequency is the frequency that the repeater will be listening in on. So if you want to transmit from your handset to the repeater, you'll need to transmit on this frequency. And to listen to what the repeater is transmitting, you'll need to set your uh, radio to this frequency. When transmitting from your tra radio transceiver to the repeater, you will need to add this CTCSS tone. So you'll, those, that, that parameter will also have to be configured. So those are the three parameters that you need to connect to this particular um, repeater. So your output frequency, your receive frequency, and the tone. Depending on the make make model of your uh, radio transceiver, you, you, you might just enter the output frequency and then an offset. So because the, the difference between these, these two is minus 0.6 megahertz. So to get to the, to work out the receive frequency uh, on the two meter band, uh, all you do is you minus 0.6 megahertz to get to this number here. And that's called the offset. And you might enter that into your radio, but you read the instructions that come with your radio and it'll give you the, the details. Now this example I've given you, uh, it's, it, it, you know, you're having to look at the, um, the, the actual map uh, and then work out which particular repeater is the nearest to you. Alternatively, you can install uh, an app. There's a, a very popular app uh, called Repeater Book that you can search for and install. And this, that app will do it for you based on your location. Uh, it'll tell you which repeaters are the closest to you and you can just read off the parameters. Otherwise, uh, you can use this method.